see that AI claims that GLM 4.6 is better than Claude Sonnet 4.5. That's right, what you're seeing right now is the benchmarks of GLM 4.6 against other LMs such as Claude Sonnet 4 and 4.5. But the question is, is this actually true? Well, in today's video, I'll give you the answer. I'll be putting or testing GLM 4.6 and put it against the newest model, Claude Sonnet 4.5. So let's head over to the chat and start testing this model against Claude Sonnet 4.5. Now, for the entirety of this video, I'll be using the thinking for both models so we can see their full potential. So the first prompt I'll be using is, of course, build a 3D tower defense game. And here is the result. It is actually true that GLM 4.6 is good at designing. As you can see, it went above and beyond and created this nice looking interface and game, of course. Compare that to Claude, to Claude Sonnet 4.5, we can see that GLM uh, did, a did a better job at designing the game. And once again, Claude Sonnet really liked using the purple gradient. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend I, I didn't see the uh, GLM's gradient, but... But you know, one thing I noticed from GLM's result is that it is not 3D. It appears to be 3D, but it's just a bunch of divs tilted. So I've taken a look at the source code and I was right. It never used 3JS. Instead, it used CSS to rotate the entire container, the game container. Now, before I try and fix this, let me see if both games are working. With Claude, everything is working perfectly. The towers are shooting, the enemies are spawning, although they're so fast. So my only complaint is the towers. They look like toilet plungers. But other than that, it's all good. Anyway, let's go back to GLM and this game is not working. But I don't see enemies at all. Maybe these are the enemies and they're not moving. They're just stuck. Now what I'm gonna do is try and fix this and tell GLM 4.6 to use 3JS. And this time, the game is... <laughs> I don't even know what word I could use to describe this. Now, I do appreciate that it made a variety of environments like trees and paths. I don't even know what these are, but I appreciate it. Now, I tried placing a tower and it completely crashed the game. I look at the console and it had problems in the code. Again, I asked GLM to fix it and it did manage to fix the problem, but this time the tower is not shooting. I tried asking it once again and it's still not working, so I would say GLM is not doing well in the game development task. But you know, I try to give it the benefit of a doubt and this time I ask it to build a different game. This time, I want you to build an 8-pool game, and the result is good. The user interface is okay, the physics were perfect, but the player number two can't play the game. I mean, that is understandable because I didn't really specify that you should have player number two. I should appreciate it because <laughs> it just thought of like, you know what? We should add player number two. So GLM can make games, but it really depends on the complexity of the game or the complexity of the game. If it's too difficult, chances are GLM won't be able to make it for you. Or it might be able to make it for you, but you'd have to keep fixing the bugs here and there. Now let's move on to the web development. This time I'm going to ask JLM and Claude to build a portfolio website full of impressive and beautiful UI components that'll get me to win the AWW awards. I mean, JLM clearly specified that they're better at making web design, so I wanna make sure that it's true. And here's the result from Claude Sonnet 4.5. Again, it's, it's purple. I mean, it looks okay, but if you're going to use this as your portfolio website, uh, it's quite obvious that you're using AI, so it's not a good look. Anyway, we have a navigational bar here with title and links. We have particles, animations. Now, one thing I would like to share with you is this. Please, don't do this. Never put bars to your skills. Okay, let me ask you a question. What does that even mean? What, is it, what does it do? You see, when you put bars like this, what does that say about you? You're, you're good enough, you're, you're not perfect, but you're good enough. I know you want to humble yourself, you're not, you're not the front end god, but please don't quantify your skills in a bar graph. It's just a waste of space and it's just gonna make your employers judge you, especially when your website looks like this. Because if you're going to put like 80% front end, yet your website looks like this, that's your 80%. Anyway, what I wanted to say is this result is not good. 
I'd give it 3 out of 10. And here is the result of GLM 4.6 and wow, this is much better, definitely. We have a navigational bar too, but we have this night mode and light mode, which is working. I love that. Hello, my name is Alex Chen, a creative developer. It's a really nice looking hero component that I would say. Now, if we scroll down, we have the projects and wow, it implemented hover effects. That is beautiful. I really appreciate that it's using real images instead of, you know, emojis, just like what Claude did earlier. I mean, it makes sense because Claude cannot make or generate photorealistic images. Mm, okay, it also created these bar graphs. Again, don't do this. We have about me, I'm passionate creative developer. It's interesting that it was made like a realistic scenario or like something about a person. When I'm not coding, you'll find me exploring new trends. Like what, swimming? <laughs> oh wow, we have a contact form. We gotta try this. Let me type my name, Bernard. Bernard at weeklyhow.com. Subscribe to weeklyhow and like this video. And send message. Oh, it's sending. Message sent. Will it actually work? Let me see my phone. No, <laughs> I didn't get anything. But that was cool though. So that's GLM 4.6, a new model developed by Z.AI that promised to be better than Claude Sonnet 4.5. As you can see, it is true that it's better than Claude Sonnet 4.5, but only at making web designs. But when it comes to writing codes or making complex apps, I don't think it's good. It kept making mistakes and it kept telling you that it's already fixed when it wasn't. So if you're curious which one is faster, Claude Sonnet 4.5 is still faster. When I ask it to build a 3D tower defense game, it finished at 1 minute and 16 seconds and GLM 4.6 finished at 1 minute and 22 seconds. It was very close but Claude still took the first place. But what do you guys think? Is GLM 4.6 better than Claude Sonnet 4.5? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a like, I do appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to Weekly How for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next one. Bye.